Hi everybody, welcome to Motivational Monday. I'm Paul Wilbur and uh, this is a great day for us to be together. I'm excited to start our week uh, together in these little vignettes, these times of study or whatever it is that we do to motivate you. I have a, I have a word for you today the word that is really uh, exceptional in me in these days is an R word. It's the word relationship. And today I want to provoke you uh, or motivate you to build real, meaningful covenant relationships. Let me just read one verse out of the book of Hebrews, second chapter, in verse 11, it says, both the one who makes men holy, who's that? Obviously, that's the Lord, Yeshua. The one who makes men holy, and those who are made holy, listen to this, are the same family. When you understand covenant, when you see relationship in the Bible, all of a sudden, you see it everywhere. It becomes the foundation for every good thing that comes into our lives. It, it makes perfect sense, right, that today um, the families are under attack like never before. Um, Yeshua, Jesus taught us to pray, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Now, I believe that the family unit has the greatest potential for demonstrating that uh, than anything else in the earth. Look, Jesus has many titles. He's also the son of God. If he's a son, that means he's in relationship to someone, right? A son has to have a father. And so we call, God calls himself father. So again, we're back to family, we're back to relationship. This, this verse goes on. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers. He's speaking of us. So there's a relationship in, in the Godhead, if you will. Um, there's a relationship of Jesus as son with God, Elohim, Father, and that relationship is extended to us through covenants, through blood covenants, relationships that extend this life, this power, this uh, goodness of living extended from heaven to us and then meant to be extended into the world. I just read it again this morning on the, on the plane coming back from a, a week in Nashville, Tennessee, God so loved the world. Not that God so loved Abraham, not that God so loved David, not that God so much loved the prophets or the apostles, he loved the world. And so through us, looking to extend that covenant relationship, we see that right there in John 17. The prayer, first of all, that Yeshua prays for himself, then he prays for his disciples. Then he prays for all those who would believe in him through their relationship. That word relationship is powerful. Let me, let me give you another example. I went to Nashville this past week to record a couple of new uh, projects, CDs, records, we still call them, actually. And... In the process, I just realized I'm in a studio with someone, not because they were hired to do this work for me, but they were there with me in the studio because of a relationship. Now, other people were a part of this in that studio, not because of my relationship with them, the engineer or the the owner of the studio or uh, some of the players. It was because of my friend's relationship with these other people. And so eventually 
you know, at the end of the day, we'll come up with a project um, and it's not the result of a paycheck. These things are a result of relationship. I can't do this on my own. I don't do graphics. I, I don't do the packaging. I don't do some of the production. I don't play all the instruments. You, you understand what I'm saying. So uh, I want to motivate you today to build bridges, relationships. In fact, after one of these recording sessions, uh, went out to dinner with one of my friends uh, who also happens to be a producer. And we sat there and over dinner, I was telling my friend about the other things that we want to do here in Jacksonville, Florida, in partnership as a part of our relationship with Celebration Church with Pastor Stovall. Just a couple weeks ago, I was downtown with some of the staff and we were scouting out um, places where we could build a first class recording studio. So we won't have to run off to Nashville every time we want to do something on a really high level. We're going to build it here. I'm telling my friends, plus we want to do something with our own publishing and possibly we may even have our own record label like Bethel Music, like some of the other big uh, churches and, and their, their outreaches, uh, Jesus people and others who have their own studios, they have their own record companies. And as I'm telling them what we're planning or praying, thinking about doing, one of them spoke up and said, hey, um, you know, I know what you need to know about starting a record company. Trust me, I've done this for decades. I know what's good to do, what's not to do. Let me help. And then as we continued to talk, he said, oh, by the way, I also know engineers who design recording studios and I will come free of charge. I will fly because of our relationship. I'll fly down to Jacksonville and I'll help in, in the design. I'll connect you with people that you need to know, who know what you don't know, what I don't know. You, you understand what I'm saying. I want to encourage you that even this faith that we speak about, our, our, this covenant with God, is because of relationship. Again, extended from the Father to the Son to us, and He made us family by His own blood. And so I want to motivate you today that the good things that come into your life only come in because of relationship. And so mend bridges. This is why uh, the scriptures encourage us. If you come with an offering and you know that your brother has something against you, there's a, a broken relationship that's bruised, something's been said, something's been done that has torn at the fabric of the covenant, then leave your offering there, go and mend this relationship. Why? Because that offering has no meaning outside of relationship. He says, mend that relationship, come back, and then present your offering, and now it's acceptable. So I, I, would, I would guarantee you, I was about to say I will bet, but I, I'm not a betting man. I will guarantee you, if you sit for just a moment and you say, Lord, where are there relationships in my life that could use some bolstering, that the bridge could use some, uh, some supports? Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's a gift. Who knows? Uh, in my case, I'll, I'll tell you this because it's been mended Many years ago, my relationship with my own brother, who's five years younger than me, um, had been broken. For 10 years, we hadn't spoken. He had two little girls. I didn't know their names. We lived in different parts of the world. And one day the Lord spoke to me and said, Paul, it's time to get your brother. 
And what that required of me was not just a phone call, not just a visit. We actually, we were living in Colorado. We put our brand new home up for sale, sold the house. And two weeks later, I, I know this is pretty radical. We bought the house across the street from my brother in Jacksonville, Florida. We're just, you know, we're radical kinds of people. Uh, when the Lord says something, we believe that he means what he says. And because he was so radical in extracting us out of the kingdom of darkness, he radically chased me down and purchased me. He redeemed my life from the pit so that I became his family. And so I want to encourage you today. I say it again. No good thing comes into your life outside a relationship. Certainly, your relationship with God brings every good thing to you. James tells us he doesn't change like shifting shadows. But apart, well, not because of that relationship, all these other relationships, your immediate family, your extended family, those that you work with, those that you huh, are at school with or wherever, I want to motivate you that if you want to see the goodness of God in your life, build strong covenant relationships. And as Jesus is not ashamed to call you family, then perhaps a broken relationship with a father, a brother, a, an uncle, an aunt, a grandparent, a, over who knows a gazillion different things would not be ashamed to call you family. And the blessing that that brings, uh, you, you, there, there are not enough volumes in the world to contain the goodness that God can bring into your life because of relationship. So, praise God. I'll, I'll leave it there for today. Obviously, there's so much more we could talk about covenant and how a covenant is made, but if we would simply demonstrate it in our lives, uh, it, it's, it's catchy. It, it, people, they, they understand that this is the goodness of life and, and they want it for themselves. You will become so attractive, you'll find uh, people will want to make relationship with you wherever you go. It, it's clean, it's holy. And it is the treasure of life, our relationships. As I was saying just a couple minutes ago, because of our relationships, we've created a lot of these projects that are blessing many lives around the world. Music is a wonderful translator. It's a wonderful communicator of God's goodness. This one is almost brand new. It's called Roar from Zion, and this one is not for sale. This one you can only have as a gift. You can get this as a gift. You will join us as a world partner. World partners uh, sow $30 or more per month into the ministry so we can continue to do these broadcasts week after month after year, which is our intention. We're actually building television studios in Jacksonville so that we can do it in a in a in a wonderful setting with all the stuff that's necessary and reach out even further into the world 24 seven. And this music will be a part of it. So if you join us as a world partner, how do you do that? You can click on the description right here on this page and it'll send you to a link where you can donate. You could make a one-time gift. We've got wonderful friends that have done that even this past week. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. My travels that we used to do every week, uh, obviously during this COVID time, have been cut. The nations are still closed. Israel is shutting down even more. And so it's so important for us to be able to reach out with these broadcasts week after week. And, uh, and if you will sell with us $30 or more a month, you become a world partner. We'll send you this new recording absolutely free. It's an instrumental. 
And uh, you can put this on continual play in your car, in your office, and in your home. And it, and it builds an altar of worship wherever you are. We uh, released this one called Selah just a couple months ago. And um, this is also an instrumental. This one has 11 songs on it. Some of them I introduce with psalms at the beginning. And uh, my friend Michael Coleman, you've heard me say this before, a dear friend, the one who started um, and is the president of Integrity Music. He called, he said, Paul, I've created a lot of instrumental records in my life. He said, but this is one of my very favorites that comes very highly recommended. Now, I did this in August, and I'm going to do it for September for whatever. We've just got oh, about half of the month left. If you join us for the month of September as a world partner, I'll send you both of these recordings. And this will give you enough instrumental music to, uh, to keep your player busy uh, for quite a while. We'd love for you to do that. We have uh, an app. If you go to the App Store, download Wilbur Ministries. All of our media is there, our music, our teachings. Uh, you can log on there and get Motivational Monday. You can see Worship Wednesday, which is coming up just in two days. And also Shabbat in your home and First Friday. And if you don't know what the difference is there, get the app and, and you'll understand. You can also go to our website, wilburministries.com, where our books and our music and our CDs and DVDs and T-shirts and uh, some of our stuff is there as well. And we would love for you to log on and join us in any or all of these places. Again, thanks for joining us today on Motivational Monday. Pray that you have a great week, that the Lord will bless you and keep you. The Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you by building bridges of relationship in your life that will bring the goodness of God. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of Yeshua, the Prince of all peace. Amen and amen. Thanks for joining us. God bless you.